हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे विल स्टार्ट द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर सेवन द नेकलेस इन द प्रीवियस पार्ट वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड दैट मिस्टर लॉयसन ही ब्रिंग्स एन इनविटेशन कार्ड फ्रॉम हिस ऑफिस इट वाज एन इनविटेशन फॉर अ डिनर पार्टी बाय द मिनिस्टर एंड ही वाज वेरी हैप्पी वेन ही ब्रॉट इट होम ही थॉट दैट वेन Matilda will know about all this. She will be very happy. But uh, as soon as he gave the invitation card to her, what did she do? Was she threw it on the table, and uh, she was angry just because she was not having any good dress to wear. Then uh, Mr. Loisel he asked that uh, how much would a good dress cost? She said that uh, near about four hundred francs. So whatever he was saving for his for buying a gun okay he wanted to go for hunting parties so he thought that i would buy gun from 400 francs which he had saved so later on he had to do away with that he brought dress for matilda now the next part the next point we'll start with necklace for the ball ball here means party okay so the day of the ball came near her dress was ready but she was pained to have such a poverty stricken look okay she was vexed not to have jewels mr loisel he suggested that she could wear any natural flowers she replied no okay why would i wear natural flowers it was humiliating now for uh, uh, matilda okay what that to give a shabby image of her in midst of rich ladies that is why she wanted some jewels then an idea came to mr loisel okay he asked her to borrow jewels from her friend madam forester okay now madam forester heard her story who story matilda story she was also happy when matilda got to know about all this that uh, her husband is thinking of all this so she went there and she said all her story to uh, madam lois uh, this forester so she opened her jewel case in front of matilda and asked her to select whatever item she liked now matilda is matilda's eyes it fell on a super necklace of diamonds her friend willingly gave that uh, necklace to matilda she was overjoyed and she went away with that diamond necklace home now second point great success at ball Now Matilda was a great success in the ball. She looked very pretty, elegant, and graceful. All the men there in that party they noticed her and wanted to get introduced to her. Even the minister, even she gave, got the attention of the minister. Okay, so she was filled with joy and she uh, danced with great pleasure. the next point is necklace lost now they went back home after the party she had a full view of herself in the mirror okay and suddenly around her neck uh, loisel was worried they didn't know even the cab number perhaps the necklace was lost there okay so mr loisel dressed and went out to search the necklace over the track he went to the police to the cab office and advertised in the newspaper offering a reward at the end of the week uh, they lost all hope in a shop they found that a similar diamond necklace was 
valued at a 40000 francs next point miserable struggle to save pay of money to save pay of money now mr loisel possessed 18000 francs which his father had left okay he borrowed the rest of the money then he went to the shop and deposited 36000 francs and got the same kind of necklace which they had lost okay now madam forester got the necklace back and uh, she didn't open the jewel box then started the horrible life of necessity for mr and mrs loisel okay both of them they suffered a lot she did not what she did matilda she washed the dishes in the linen and she did all the household works they even sent me their maid okay maid servant who was working there in their house now uh, they rented some rooms in the attic Uh, the husband worked in the evening at some merchant's office day and night at the end of 10 years they paid all their debts and she realized that the necklace had cost her a lot and had changed her life the next point is madam forester's necklace was false or you can say false necklace now one day mrs loisel happened to meet madam forester taking a walk madam forester didn't recognize her friend she had changed very badly who matilda matilda confessed that she had she had had hard days just because of her necklace madam forester remembered the necklace that she had given to her but she reminded matilda that she had already returned the necklace then mrs loisel told the whole story she also told how they suffered to replace her lost necklace their whole life was changed she said all about this it became miserable due to the diamond necklace now madam forester due to getting all those knowledge about how miserable life she had led madam forester showed sympathy and replied oh my poor matilda my necklace was false they were false and not worth 500 francs so this is where the chapter ends